You know, we're on a nasty climb and the sucker goes straight up for another three, four kilometers. You know, we've got a hell of a long way to go. We're not even halfway through the race yet. The scores have been relentless so far. Not much chance to rest. It was a constant climb and descent and climb and descent. Tried to just whittle my way through them and I seemed to do well on the gnarly descents. We ran into some trails, but once we hit the gnarly chunk and stuff, they all got off their bikes and started walking. I'm like, what? This is a mountain bike race. Don't you ride a mountain bike? It was a little frustrating at first. You want to be moving, but because of the long line of people in front of you, you can't. So you're just waiting your turn in the line to walk through this beautiful mountain bike trail, which I was kind of sad about. Come on, let's ride. We're supposed to ride these things. You want to take it a little slower so you don't wash out or end up right over the cliff. One of the really cool sections was this famous trail that goes alongside a mountain cliff. High above Bad Goizern, they've actually cut out this ledge. They've created a tunnel. As you ride this trail, you go into the tunnel and you can't see anything. You're looking 50 feet ahead where there's a little bit of daylight coming out, but the tunnel bends and you're just trying not to hit the walls. Start an ache. Back, we're, you'll have we'll have some little ups and downs during this race. A little down right now. I feel I feel the pain all over the body. I'm loving the downhills. I'm loving the speed. I'm loving the gnarly oh, stuff. But there's so much climb. It's not funny here. Thank you, Duncan. It's a tough day out here. I'm happy to be hanging in, but. They're, uh, they're pushing me, that's for damn sure. We're climbing stuff that's like 20, 30 degrees paved. We don't have stuff like that in uh, Canmore or Banff. I'm getting cramps. My neck and shoulders are gonna be so tired by the end of this. My head just feels like a dead weight. It's starting to get hot now. Uh, tough though, now we've got a bit more climb and then we're getting another wicked descent. Ooh. I'm telling you man, what a race. Had some ups and downs out there, but we're getting closer. I hate to quit. Makes me angry to think about. I mean, sometimes it's all I can think about, but it's the last thing I want to do, despite how hard it is. I mean, this is a damn hard race. Last year was a very new experience for me, putting so many monster races together in such a short period of time. And you think I would have been able to take those memories and carry them into here and pick up exactly where I left off. That's not the case at all.
As the day plays out, you just settle into this place where you have to deal with all the emotions, all the uncertainty, all the fatigue inside of you. I was starting to question myself. And you just have to tell yourself the only solution is just to keep spinning your legs. This is the hardest race I've done. I keep saying that on this show. It's crazy. We're at 190k. 93. What the? F oh, this is brutal, dude. I'm right in here. Oh. I gotta keep rolling. I want to miss the cutoff. It's been eight months since I've had a long, hard race like this. You forget about the dark places that you end up when you're out for a full day of racing. Uh, you get comfortable in your life. The rude, rude awakening today. At about the midway point through the race, you climb and climb and climb and you end up on this big field. I just saw all these people and they were cheering and stuff, so I decided to give them a little sound of music from the Canadian. I don't know if this is one of the favorite spots to cheer on. Maybe it was the halfway point. I don't know where I was, somewhere in Austria. One of the race favorites, Luis Pinto. I met the guy yesterday, he won today. Not only did he win, he shattered the existing course record. He went sub 10 hours, which hasn't been done yet. I think the kilometer 115 was a, was a hard spark with the hard climbs, but I'm feeling very good. Good luck, Simon and Turbo. Lewis actually did it with a broken rib because he had a crash in his last race. For him to win this race in under 10 hours, it's amazing. Never in my life have I done a mountain bike race this long. I hope I make it to the end. One of the highlights and lowlights was climbing up Hallstatt. 150k into the race, you're climbing to the highest point on the course. Nothing's too steep to build a road on in Austria. Love to walk. I love to just sit in the shade for half an hour, but I'll do that when I'm finished. A new respect for the Austrian Alps. No respect for the riders here. They're all solid. Some don't know what a downhill worth a damn, but they can all climb like mountain goats. From which state are you? Canada. Uh, now I understand why the downhills are easy here for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's the climbs that are painful. Oh, yeah. I haven't had a cramp yet, which is huge for me. I think my legs are fresher. I haven't raced in a while. I've got pretty good legs right now. How many climbs can I hit you with? 10 hours 15 into the race, 150 kilometers in. I'm getting there, one step at a time. I don't know, I don't know anything about turbo. If it's a big one for me and I live in the mountains, 
It's definitely a big one for him. I don't know whether he's five minutes behind, two hours behind, crashed, banged up, not banged up, happy or unhappy. I really had to have a dump. I guess I've been eating a lot of cheese in Austria. So I found a good spot and just let it rip. I remember thinking, oh man, what's poisonous in this country? Like I don't want to get the wrong leaf to wipe with, right? In these kind of races, the odds of you having to have a dump are pretty darn good. I feel much better. Now he's plugging me up there. Oh, dude. Sick of hills, man, and sick of hills. Totally sick of hills. Feeling uh, worn out. Just tired of this climb. Tired of the race. I just want to get over with. It's been a long day. Turbo, I don't know if you're still racing. I don't know where you are. But if you're on this climb, buddy, I feel sorry for you. It is a huge biatch. I don't envy you if you're just getting started. It breaks your will. It's been a long day. Oh man, I'm hurting all over. This is brutal, dude. Climb, 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 climb. And more climb. I think we're about to enter another one. Uh, last climb, big climb. This is a tough race. This race is too big to fathom. As long as I can start the last big climb, I'll be set, because I'm going to climb Hallstatt. 11 hours. I'm dead. If I can get to the top of Hallstatt, I think I can finish this race. I'm too old for this. If I have to push this bike up to the top of this mountain, I will. After this, you get the beer and you get the women. Right, buddy? Because you're a champion. <laughs> I get my girls. I'll be proud of your old man. Keep up, keep up. We came right around this way. All the way over here. The last aid station was where that bunch of houses is. Holy moly. You gotta get to the top of that baby. There was a little hut at the top and I asked the guys, is this really the top? They're like, yep. Oof, thank God. So 165K in. 12 hours, 10 minutes of racing. Be happy boy if I can do the last 40K. Two hours. Old beer awaits. All downhill to the finish. From the top of Hallstatt into the finish at Bad Goizern was virtually all downhill. When we finally started descending on that one, then I knew I could make the finish. I knew that the race was in hand. I saw this one Belgian guy throughout the day on the final 20K of the race. He and I ended up working together. He would share part of the work, I would do some of the work, and we went twice as fast as I would have on my own. We're doing it together, no matter what now. Okay. We reeled in a bunch of guys that were ahead of us. They jumped on and I was holding like eight guys along. Coming out. There you go. I 
Last day to go. Maybe 5K from the finish. A couple of them decided to attack. Nothing in Belgium. Yeah, they're also Belgians. Oh yeah? And I said, there's no way to bike. But attack <laughs> after we help? Yeah, that's all right. I've done my work. I would say it's a little bit poor form, but hey, whatever you gotta do what you gotta do. The final kilometer of the race is beautiful. You can hear the finish in the distance. We just kind of looked at each other and gave a thumbs up and basically just cruised it in. I love racing, but I love finishing. And when you finish in a place like this, with people everywhere, smiles, families, the beer is flowing freely, which I will soon indulge in. I mean, this really just caps off a perfect event. This is a great way to start off our new series of races. I'm in mountain bike heaven right now. I can't imagine how Turbo's doing, but you know, he's a trooper, so I hope he's sticking with it. The mind is a wonderful thing. It is the strongest thing you have, and if you focus it right, you can accomplish anything. But this is a tough race. The climbs are so long, it's like mentally beating on you. I was getting choked up because I would just make the cutoffs at each aid station. I don't know what's gonna happen. I didn't get any updates on Turbo when I was on the race course. I know he's pretty chill when he's out there, but I knew that pressure had to be creeping in there. He had to be getting anxious. It's not about, do I have the energy in my legs to cross that finish line? This is about time now. Along this whole race course, just amazing views. It's just a beautiful country. When you're racing a race as tough as this, to be able to look at the scenery and take your mind off the pain and the suffering just helps so much. But I'm not gonna finish this race. A few times I was hoping that I wouldn't make the time cut off at the next aid station so I could be pulled out of the race. There's so many times during these long races where you have these peaks and valleys. There's so many times where you come way down and you just don't wanna be there. It's starting to get cold out. This is what racing these long, arduous races does to you. But then, I looked at my watch. I was pushing the time, but I realized I'm so close. I'm getting there. This is it. I don't know what happened at that point, but I just started going. I found that extra push. At that point, I didn't even want to look at my watch. I just wanted to finish the race. So I just carried on and just kept plugging away. He's about an hour out. Touch and go, though, because he's got to make the cutoff. It's 8.05 right now, so he's really got to put the pedal to the metal, give it full gas, and just do it. He might just crack 16 hours to get here before 9 o'clock. So I'll be waiting by the start line for him with a gluten-free beer or a glass of wine. Maybe Pinot Noir, I think he likes that. This is the toughest race I've done in my entire life. The constant mental and physical battle to get through these hills, it's just so tough.
went to the finish line about 10 minutes before the cutoff. I'm waiting and we went from 10 minutes to five minutes. Two minutes and still no turbo. I don't know where it came from, but this inner power just came out and my whole attitude changed. This is it. I'm finishing this race. Knowing that you're just making all the time cutoffs by the skin of your teeth. One minute left. If for whatever reason the wheels fall off, you're not gonna rank. That would be very, very difficult to take. Sure enough, by the skin of his teeth, Turbo comes through and literally seconds left on the clock. Jeez, Starting a race year off with such a difficult race was both a blessing and a curse. Oh man, that was incredible, man. Wow! It just throws us right back into the heart of it. You relive all those emotions that you have, you deal with your demons. Now, I think we're better set up for harder challenges. To do a race this long and that, it just gives me confidence for all the next races. But if I missed the deadline by a few minutes and they said, you don't count, you're not finished, I think I would have punched the guy out. <laughs>